And your first alert forecast getting you ready for Milton's impacts for our area. It's tomorrow right now looking at some of that satellite imagery. The eye itself not as healthy over the last hour, but still going to remain very strong until it makes landfall, which is likely going to be just after midnight tonight going into tomorrow morning. Now expected to be a category four storm. Notice the cone is well off to our south, but the impacts come into our area of the coastal empire and low country as well. Let's take a look at the landfall potentials here anywhere from north of Fort Myers, Venice, Sarasota, Anna Maria back over into Tampa, St. Pete to Clearwater. All of these areas still could have sustained wind close to 130 miles an hour. Fine tuning where it looks like the exact landfall will be. Now for our area, the wind much less than that. A tropical storm warning means more likely going to have those wind gusts closer to 40 plus miles an hour. So that's Chatham County, Liberty, Long, Bryan, as well as uh, McIntosh and coastal areas of uh, the Golden Isles. Now for Long County specifically, that is a watch as well as Wayne County, Jasper County and Beaufort County. I know a lot of counties out there, but if you see it lit up, you've got a better chance there of experiencing some of those uh, wind gusts over 39 to 40 miles an hour. Satellite radar out the door this morning, getting you ready for today. We're in the 60s, lots of clouds across the area. It's going to be a gloomier day with those highs only in the mid 70s, keeping it cooler over the next few days. Fall is here. Going to feel it more after this system, but Thursday first alert weather day. Let's go through the impacts. Of course, we're talking about the wind. Wind gusts 35, 45 plus, most likely likely for coastal areas, the islands, the beaches off to the east of I-95. We are unfavorable for tornadoes. That's good news. But looking at coastal flooding being a threat with the onshore flow coming in here at high tide early afternoon, one, two, three o'clock on Thursday could have some road closures, including 80 there uh, going to and from Tybee. Keep that in mind. Let's look at this wind field expand as it approaches landfall here. The sustained hurricane force wind stays around the Tampa Bay area. We likely won't have sustained tropical storm force wind in our area, maybe just south of McIntosh County, but we're going to have those gusts, just not the sustained wind. That wind field goes back over the Atlantic as we get into late Thursday into Friday. But for the gusts specifically, the stronger bursts of energy, 35 to 45 plus mile an hour wind possible all the way from Beaufort down toward Brunswick, everywhere in between going back to about I-95, 30 to 35 plus mile an hour wind for everybody else along and then to the west of I-95. It's not just an exact line, but uh, best way to communicate it. As we look at your next few days after this storm, we see cooler air filter in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, feeling like fall. It's not all doom and gloom. We're going to be all right. Just communicating those threats for your Thursday. It's going to be a windy day with rain primarily south of Savannah and for coastal areas. A little bit more rain for McIntosh County and south of the Altima Hall. But this weekend looks 10 out of 10 gorgeous with those highs uh, below average and morning temperatures pretty chilly as well, at least for this time of the year. I've got more on Milton for you guys after the break.